So I thought I would take you guys through a day of me getting ready, but like also talking and showing you guys some of my favorite beauty products. We're starting this video bright and early today, and one of my fave, fave products at the moment is these heatless curls. If you don't tongue scrape, what are you doing? Also, we're gonna be getting ready, and then after we get ready, I'm gonna go to the gym. Aquaphor forever. My lips are so dry too. Introducing our first beauty product, we got the Paula's Choice Exfoliant. This is a new bottle. I've gone already through like, I don't even know how many bottles, but like four bottles. It really just helps with all like, the pores you have to really like exfoliate your skin. Now for the big hair reveal. So this is like a silk rod and you just like wrap your hair around it. I do mine really tight. Like they're gonna look kind of like guinea curls right now. But you know, within a few hours of them loosening up, they look really, really nice. Especially because when I go to the gym, I sweat a lot, so my hair is gonna like fall super fast. So I like to wrap them like super, super tight that way, like throughout the rest of the day, because the gym in the morning, I can still have like some kind of curl going on. I already made my morning tea here. You guys have seen this in almost every freaking YouTube video. So in the mornings, I don't like to wash my face because I do an extensive skincare at night. I'm also skin cycling, I barely started doing that. So one night I'll use retinol, one night I'll exfoliate. The other night is recovery, so I'm just like lathering my face in moisturizers and overnight creams. So in the mornings, I don't wash my face. I just rinse it with water to like, you know, wake me up. So I sprayed some rose water and I got that on Amazon. All my skincare is gonna be linked in my Amazon storefront, by the way, under the skincare section. It's about five, four to five toners. Uh, and while your face is wet, they say to put on the other toners for the toners just to like pat it in your skin. So you'll see my face is gonna start like glowing right now. And I always like bring this skincare down to my chest. This one is a Korean skincare one. I've been hearing a lot of good things about Korean skincare and I gave it a try and I literally love them. So put it in while your skin is still wet because it absorbs better. And not to rub it in, but to pat it in. Let me pin my little, my little hair is back. So if I don't want to do like makeup, makeup in the morning, I'll put on my toners and an eye cream. In they always say for skin to go thinnest to thickest. So obviously like these toners are literally like water. So these would go first compared to this one, which is like, let me show you guys, which is like a creamy consistency. I put the creamy, like the thick ones last put the light up and then something new i've been using is the snail mucin i'm sure that you guys have seen this on tiktok i do about two to three pumps it's really thick and this one as well you just pat it into your face and this one is very sticky i remember <laughs> Probably like a year ago, I purchased the snail mucin on Amazon because I came across it, I don't know how. And I bought it and I didn't know how to use it. And it was so sticky and I was like so confused as far as like how to use it. So I literally returned it because I was like, what the fuck? Like, I, this is sticky. Like, 
how does this work like i feel like my makeup's not gonna stay with it so then now that it's popular on tiktok again i've been seeing it and i figured out how to use it so i bought it again to try it and i actually really do like it but i just think it's so funny that literally last year i bought it and i was like yeah this gotta go you put your like toners first and then you put the snail mousse in and then after to lock it in you want to put a moisturizer on but i do want a light like little makeup look today we're gonna be hitting some legs so i think i want to wear i don't know it's september already i'm feeling the fall vibes i kind of want to wear orange leggings very like fall vibes but then i also want to wear brown shorts more fall vibes <laughs> so i don't know what i want to do yet i have been loving a lot of elf products and i can't believe i hadn't tried any elf products yet. this sun touchable wool glow this one is um the glowy one so obviously you're gonna have a glow to you when you put it on but they also do have an invisible sunscreen so that one kind of reminds me of like the super goop plan for today i want to go to the gym i'm gonna hit legs and then i want to come back defrost some food make some food i want to mop and sweep and then i want to read my book so i have last night i read like three chapters in my book and i counted how many pages left and i have about 85 pages left so i really want to finish my book this week because dude i have been reading it forever somebody messaged me on instagram they're like dude i feel like you've been reading that book for like six months <laughs> and literally why have i been reading the book for like six months it's just like i gave up on that book a couple of times because for me it's not my favorite book the book that I'm reading is 101 Essays That Will Change Your Life. Speaking on the subject of e.l.f., we have their e.l.f. brow lift. If you guys know, I love the Got To Be eyebrow gel. But, like on just like this where you want your makeup like a little bit done, I feel like you don't have to use the Got To Be because that one literally have them in place for like 48 hours. You know, like sometimes it's not that serious. You just have the Got To Be for when i go out and then the elf one for every day the only thing i really don't like about the elf one is that you, is that you have to have your own spoolie because with the got to be one you have like the brush built in since i am going to hit legs i'm going to be using my refi primer i need my makeup to stay on because it's literally not even nine in the morning and I have like a whole day worth of activities. My gym is so hot. So let's see how my hair holds up. Let's see how my makeup holds up. Sometimes I leave the gym still looking cute. Sometimes I leave the gym literally looking like a hot mess. But the refi primer, I love it because it has like that, the applicator, you just roll it on your face. And then I just like to go in with my hands and just like pat it in and make sure the products you know like evenly distributed and it's like tacky but this one also i feel like leaves me like a little glow oh yeah so like i was saying i gave up on that book a few times it's pretty much a book of different stories but i don't know for me it just wasn't really like the most interesting like they did have a few chapters that i was like whoa that was a good chapter let me read the next chapter and then i would read the next chapter and i'd be like huh. i'm telling you guys i'm a big l fan right now so i'm gonna also be putting on the halo glow and i'm also gonna be mixing a little bit of my frankie rose foundation this is in shade neutral I 
wear makeup every day to the gym. Sometimes I do wear makeup, sometimes I don't wear foundation, sometimes I literally just put concealer under my eyes. Or sometimes I literally don't wear anything, I just do my, my toners. Today, since I wanted to record, I am going to be going to the gym with makeup. I love Sunday Fun Day, but then I also hate it at the same time because like, I just feel like it throws me off on my week because I don't start the week off good. So the fact that I haven't been drinking and starting my weeks off strong, if you didn't know, uh, me and Danny wanted to challenge ourselves and do a six weeks challenge of no drinking. So tell me why yesterday we were talking about Labor Day weekend and, and we're like, how many days has it been exactly? So we we're like, let's see how many days it's been because occasionally like it's on his story, like day one out of 42 or day 24 out of 42. And we checked and it literally had been 42 days. But me and Danny really just wanted to challenge ourselves with no drinking for six weeks because one, our birthday was coming up and we wanted to look good for our birthdays. But also because we were noticing that like we were going so hard in the gym, but because we drink, we just were not seeing changes as we wanted to. So we were like, you know what? Let's challenge ourselves right before our birthday. We're gonna look good on our birthdays because mine and Danny's birthday is exactly a week apart. And we did it. Everybody was like, you guys are not gonna do it because when we did, we've done no drinking twice before that already and it was only for 30 days and we we did it, but by the third week we were like, oh my God, we want a beer, we want a shot. And this time we were just like locked in, like for real, Danny kept saying that like, I'm locked in, I'm locked in, I'm locked in, and we really were locked in. Like, so proud of us because we have both slimmed down so much in the past six weeks. Once we come back from our birthday trips, which we have three trips in September, we're gonna drink on our birthdays and on our trips, but when we come back and in October and November, I'm gonna try to not drink as much because I have seen so much changes. And I do acknowledge that like, Drinking and you know trying to get in shape, they just don't really go hand in hand. Like yes, you can still make progress with drinking, but I would say it delays your your growth, you know, because whenever you drink alcohol, your body does not process food for 48 hours after you drink alcohol, and that was us. We would go out on Fridays and Saturdays and have a couple drinks, a couple shots, but then we would also do that the next day. I feel like from now until December, it's just everybody's birthday. We have parties, we have just like so much going on in these like next couple of months. And I was telling him that like this time, like on the weekends, like I really didn't have FOMO. Like, I'd be like, oh, like, you know, like people are out and like I would watch their stories and it would just be like whatever, you know, but like the last time I'd be like, no, like I want to go out. But this time we really didn't go out. We stayed home like mostly every weekend, except if there was like, like Cobb's boyfriend's party, we went out and we celebrated with him, but we did come home early and we didn't drink. But literally like all, Mostly the six weekends we stayed in and we just had like no temptation. We literally just had a wholesome Month and a half not waking up hungover. It's not like I miss being hungover But like I miss the vibes like the party vibes, you know, I miss going out but like I don't miss the hangovers because Oh, I didn't even get to show you guys my my blush that I'm obsessed with hold on my camera's about to die Give me a second Spray some hairspray so that these curls could maybe stay. And I totally forgot to like share the products. So let me show you guys real quick. So something I've been using, which I didn't use today because I feel like this takes 
my makeup from like a simple makeup to like you know actually like really really how i usually do my makeup um is the makeup by mario skin enhancer i love this it's like a cream contour and over it i also put powder bronzer so that's why like i didn't want to do too much today but i have been obsessed with this product like i'm literally gonna need a new one very soon so freaking bomb like it just gives you this like glow and i love it um the bronzer i used was fenty beauty in paradise island it gives you such a nice bronze like a sun-kissed bronze and I have used this one. I actually just got a new one like a couple of weeks ago, but I've been using this color for like probably like the last year and a half. And I always go back to this color because it's just such a pretty color. Like it's not chalky. It just makes me look very bronze. And then this freaking blush is the House Labs blush. Guys fucking amazing like look at that lady gaga really fucking did that um and i literally put the tiniest bit and you can still see it and i love it but like i said i wasn't really trying to go like too crazy with the makeup today because i already know my gym be hot as hell also been another like beauty secret i've been loving is these powder puffs uh, before I was just using the powder puffs to press my powder in there But now I use a powder puff to blend in my concealer and I love 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 the way it blends out my concealer So my pink ones for me like so that I know my pink ones are for my concealer to blend and then my white or my black ones are for powder so I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury powder and just setting my under eye. But for the powder, I use quite a different few powders. I always switch between Charlotte Tilbury, One Size, and Kat Von D, which Kat Von D is a finishing powder, so you put it on last, and it's literally white. But yeah, I, those are the three uh pressed powders that i have in my bag i do love a bright ass under eye this is a finishing powder so it's literally the last thing you put you just set it in but yeah this charlotte tilbury bomb i go in and i press it in with the little powder puff so i also use the huda beauty one so what i do is i put it on the powder puff and then on the back of my hand i blend some out that way I don't really do too much underneath the eyes with the loose powder. And then there's still one more final step. Use a finishing powder. My finishing powders, I have Kat Von D and Fenty, but I broke the Fenty. So now it's just the Kat Von D, but the Fenty one is also white and it's really good finishing powder. So go in with the finishing powder and just blend in the pressed powder and this one together. Also, I bought this kimchi um, stage proof matte setting spray on TikTok shop. This is supposed to be like drag show setting spray. So it's literally, they say we'll have you set for hours. So let's try this out today. Let's see it. Because I'm telling you, my gym, I instantly walk in my gym and I'm sweating. They be having that shit like at 84 degrees. I'm not even joking. It's so hot in there. I and they say to drench your face. So I'm gonna do just that. I'm just gonna put a little bit of bronzer on my lid, whatever was on the brush, that's what I'm using. My fave mascara is currently the Rare Beauty one. This one is not the Rare Beauty one, but it's cause I ran out. This one is the Beauty Creations one. This one is also really good too. Rare Beauty and Makeup by Mario. I have been loving their makeup line like both of their makeup lines are so bomb and i have multiple products from each of them and i'm just like wow it gets better the only product that i'm really like not too happy about is the makeup by mario concealer which i am so shocked because i thought that i would love that product i've used it three times and all three times it's just like left me really crease underneath my eyes so i don't know i do want to give it another shot because I just can't believe it. I feel like that concealer would be so freaking bomb. 
and it's supposed to be like a self-setting concealer so I'm like no I just can't believe that it would leave me like this so I am gonna give it another shot but yeah I did get that uh, concealer about like two weeks ago and I've been iffy about it and I have been loving mascara lately like more than lashes then I'm gonna put my little colored Vaseline because, dude, my lips were so chapped that they cracked right here. You know how bad that hurts? Like when you're chewing your food or you open your mouth and it like rips it open again? Yeah, no. I've been applying Vaseline like no other. Now let's go pick a gym outfit. It is already 9.20. I put some lotion on. I'm wearing the new onset t shirt that just dropped. I'm feeling a little bit bloated, so I was gonna go in a sports bra, but I always regret it whenever I'm feeling bloated and I go in a sports bra. I'm like, oh, I'm bloated. Why did I just come in shorts and a sports bra? So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go in a shirt. And then I got this Burberry perfume at Ross, but I don't really like the way it smells. I think it's an old one. So I've been using it to the gym just because I wanna just like finish it already. I know I said I was gonna do fall vibes today, but this is literally not fall vibes at all. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Who else is like so excited for fall though? Like I wanna bake cookies, like the little Halloween cookies. I wanna watch like cute movies of Halloween. Converse on. Literally, like nothing makes upsets me more than when I get to the gym and I realize I forgot my watch. I'm doing my snatched and fit workout challenge. If you guys are new here, I have an app where I sell programs and I'm currently doing my first challenge. And I'm sore because I did my leg day. I think it was on Saturday that I did my leg day and I'm still sore. So, so I'm all on set today. <laughs> on set water bottle, on set shorts, on set tea. Guys, also Cash has learned a new trick. Paw. Oh, good boy. Let me see your paw. Good boy. Millie, we're still a work in progress. Let me see paw. Oh, good boy. Say it, Millie. got the pack right here. So we got glutamine. I've been heavy on my glutamine and I do about 10 to 15 grams of glutamine. So it's like about three scoops. And then for the creatine, I just do like a super big scoop. And like I said, today is leg day. So I'm gonna be mixing Oxy Shred and pre-workout today for that extra pump. But I'm also gonna be mixing in some L-carnitine. L-carnitine is gonna help break down your fat into energy so you're able to burn it off. And then Pride is EHP's pre-workout. So I'm doing a scoop of Pride. This is in flavor rainbow candy. And then I'm also doing Oxy Shred, which is a fat burner. This also does give you energy, um, but it's only 150 milligrams of caffeine. So like I said, I, I want that extra energy. So I also added in a scoop of pre-workout, uh, but this is cool because it's a fat burner. So it's gonna burn fat and it's gonna boost your metabolism. I'm gonna be like focused in my zone. That is why I like to mix them. I've taken Oxy Shred for years and I love it. I love that. Their flavors are great. It's gonna boost your metabolism. And I also love that it suppresses your cravings. You won't be hungry for a couple of hours after drinking it, which I love that because I am a big time snacker. Oxy Shred will forever be my favorite thing ever. 
I do have a code with EHP Labs, which is where all my supplements are from. And my discount code is ILEXI. So if you guys want to shop EHP Labs and save yourself some money, I will leave their website link in the description of this YouTube video. But you guys can use my code so you guys can get money off your order. Also, speaking about supplements, if you guys go to my website, Sweat with Lexi, I do have bundles that I created for you guys and it's just different type of bundles um, that I like but you guys can check through there because I feel like I made some pretty good bundles but yeah that the bundles will be on my sweat with Lexi website they are still EHP products but it's just bundles that I cur curated for you guys for my breakfast, I'm gonna only be having a rice cake with peanut butter. So supposedly this is really good for your workout. And I like the I like the peanut butter with nuts. Are you guys a nut girly? Or you guys just like it creamy? I do like it creamy, but then like I hadn't had nuts in forever and I was like, I do love me some nuts. Let me eat some. So what they say is a good little pre-workout snack is a rice cake with banana and honey. And the honey you have to get is the raw honey and then also um, septic salt. A little more drink of this. All the glutamines at the bottom, so let me. Oh, but I, I never finished telling you. I always lose my train of thought. We, um, I'm currently doing my first challenge, um, which is called Snatched and Fit, and we are on week four of the challenge. This challenge is six weeks, so we have two more weeks of the challenge, but dude, last leg day was killer, and I already have to hit legs again. But today is quads and glutes, and the last leg day I did was hamstrings and glutes. I was gonna take this in the car with me so I could just drink it on the way, but I hate when I have so much shit and I, dude, I always leave the house with like seven bags, three bottles, like I just always be doing too much. So I'm like, you know what, let me just leave this here, especially since it's glass. <laughs> this is what's gonna give you that natural energy. They say it's like natural pre-workout. So it's the raw honey. So I'm gonna put some on my rice cake, sea salt. Okay, now I'm off to the gym. I'll see you guys once we're at the gym.